guys, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we are playing Tropico, one of my favorite classic games, circa 2002. This game really came out of nowhere and surprised people. Uh, it's got a ton of replay value. Basically, you are El Presidente of a Banana Republic in a Caribbean island, and you get to manage everything from the politics of the island um, down to the economy on a very micro scale. And uh, it's a lot of fun, so let's give it a shot here. I'm going to set this to the easiest possible settings uh, because the game is hard enough as it is. So maximum veg vegetation, maximum minerals, uh, let's reduce the water level, eh, a little more water. And hills and mountains are very cool, but in games like this they get a little bit wonky and uh, we really could use a lot of flat terrain to build on. There's not really a lot of space even on the maximum map size. so. Sorry, there's not going to be any mountains on this one. Uh, we're going to keep it flat, keep it easy. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that's good. Um, let's see... Victory goals... Alright, so you want to do open-ended. If you don't do open-ended, I think you only have about 40, 50, maybe 60 years to beat the game. And that's no fun, because just when you start to get a very large economy, a very large nation, uh, the game ends. So if you do open-ended, you can play indefinitely. And... I don't want any special circumstances. Okay, uh... We're gonna set it again to the easiest. Uh, it's not the easiest, but the second easiest. If you go any easier on political stability, then there's basically no potential for a revolt. And that's no fun. I'd like to have a small potential for revolt, because it is a little bit fun. Uh, the same with the economy. I'm not going to set it any easier. If you set it on the easiest, then you have infinite money, but um, the second easiest. And random events rarely occur, so those could be interesting. These are events like... Uh, I think there could be a shipping strike and you have no boats that come to your docks for a year or a hurricane strikes your island and destroys some buildings. Uh, in my experience, invariably, it destroys your power plant. Of course, the most difficult building to create, but we'll keep those on or rarely occur. And now I believe you get to choose your dossier uh, for your leader. Uh, so just keep it as it is. Leftist author, rise to power. Oh boy. Uh, I think I want to be elected as a capitalist. Sure. Uh, qualities. Maybe administrator. And you have to choose your flaws. I'm an alcoholic. It hurts your relationship with the religious faction, which is going to be kind of important. Hmm. Unfortunately, you just have to choose... You have to choose something here, and they're all pretty negative. Pretty bad. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, those are all gonna hurt me, but I don't see anything better. Okay, I'm a leftist author. I was elected as a capitalist, hardworking administrator. I'm an alcoholic and I'm short tempered. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and slow her down, pause the game here, scroll out and take a look at what we've got on this island. Boy, it looks smaller than I expected. Um, we've only got $10,000, 10000 tropican dollars to build with in the first year. Uh, but I'm going to take a look at our resources and see you know, what we've got. So we go down here to the eye. Uh, Alright, these are crop conditions where we can grow our food. This is corn, pineapple, coffee, 
up in the hills. Sugar, azúcar. Uh, and I think we can switch this to sugar. That's in a good position for sugar. Okay. Uh, tobacco is worth a lot. Bananas. Papaya. Uh, we also have cattle. You can build uh, ranches. Or goats. Keep them all on corn, which is food that we can grow, except for this one is going to produce sugar, and from sugar eventually you can build a distillery and make rum. But corn we can eat, corn is good. Let's also take a look at our minerals. Uh, so here we have iron. Looks like there's no iron nearby, but there's a little bit on the east, uh, the southeast corner of our island. This is uh, bauxite, so we can use that to make canned goods and gold. We can make jewelry. Okay, so the gold is in the mountain here, the, the hilly area, which is also where we want to produce uh, a lot of coffee. Okay. So. I foresee coffee plantations in the hill. Uh, maybe some sugar out here. Tobacco on the lowlands. Bananas, papaya sort of out on the fringes. Um, perhaps we could even put in a ranch here for some cattle or goats a little bit further inland. Uh, and fish. Ooh. There's not a lot of fish here. The fish is all on the southeastern corner of the island. That's unusual. Didn't expect that. Okay then. Um, so, one of the drawbacks of this game, in my opinion, the only thing I would knock on it is that uh, it's a little bit unbalanced when you get later into the game. It becomes difficult to actually uh, stay on top of things. Uh, and the problem I have is there's never enough Teamster or Construction offices. Um, so you probably want to build another Construction office very soon. We've got a Colonial Fort here, which would be good for tourism, and usually there's a Maya Temple. I don't know why it would be on an island out here, but there it is. So I'm foreseeing this corner, the eastern corner of the island, will be touristy. Uh, maybe something out here in this little lagoon could be luxury housing. And we'll probably build the majority of the interior of our urban center around the palace out here. You can see people are already living in shacks. So one of the first things I like to build personally are apartment complexes. And uh, I'll get started on that right here like this. So I'm going to have them get going on that. Uh, while they do that, I'm going to lay out some roads. Roads don't really help or do anything in this game, other than it allows you to sort of see, map out and see what's going on. Sort of create a grid so you can see where you're building. I'm going to go kind of inland here and have some administrative buildings in this area. And in keeping with that, Oh, we don't have enough money. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait until the end of the year to build anything else. And I think we'll get a good foreign aid uh, boost by the end of the year here. You get foreign aid from the Soviets, you get foreign aid from the United States every year. Oh dear, we're already running out of money. We're in the hole.
So my construction crew has gone home. Like I said, you really kind of want to build mini construction offices because um, it just gets so difficult to actually finish construction on things. I've had three or four and then sat around waiting and waiting for the construction to continue. They're all going back to their shacks and then they're going to come back and finish it. It's 82% complete. I should be here soon. The end of the year is a month away and we will get maybe $10,000 in uh, foreign aid from the US or the Soviets. We'll have to see where that comes from. Alright, end of the year. Uh, we didn't get as much foreign aid as I had hoped. We got $6,000 from the Russians. Man, I was hoping for more. Well... What to build now? Logging camp would be good. But where? I don't actually want to build it too close to the city, maybe out here. Alright, there's the next thing they're going to build, a logging camp. Um, we don't have enough money for a mine. Pineapple farm, coffee farm, that would be too far away, there's a long distance for them to walk. I think that's why later in the game there's a sort of imbalance, because you spread out so far that they have to walk, they spend all of their time walking to work and back. So, uh, build another sugar farm. Tobacco would actually be a good option, I think. Put that about here. Okay. And it is now June, we have $150 left, so we're not going to be building anything else this year. Now these Teamsters, presumably these are the guys that move the goods over to the dock so you can sell them. Ah, you see they're moving something here. I don't know what it is. Uh, it could be corn. It could be tobacco. Or no, it's it could be sugar. Sugar or corn. I'm guessing that they're going to be eating the corn and so it's probably sugar. And we're actually, we just brought in $6,000 from the sugar. Fantastic. So let's slow it down a little bit here and uh, see what we want to construct next. <sighs> I want to build more housing. I find I hate when they build these shacks. So I try to create an opportunity for them to live somewhere, to give them housing so they tear down their shacks. So an apartment is a good way to get decent quality housing. You also have a tenement, which is pretty crappy quality. I just assume, I mean, since we're on easy, I just assume we built the apartment. And you can fill in with some little uh, casas, some little casitas, little houses. Eventually, when you get a power plant, you can build luxury houses and even uh, condominiums. that sound you hear is these guys leveling the terrain to start construction. Good, good. They're all working. I'm 
build out the grid here while I wait. So I can get a sense of where we're going. I do want to build another construction office somewhere, but I gotta decide where to do it that's gonna be efficient. So maybe here or maybe out here, I'm not sure. This name, uh, Ucaro, is the name of uh, this little district, La Romana, this little farming district here. So now I've got $10,000 and I don't think money is going to be a problem anymore. Um, I'm actually not going to be able to build things quickly enough to use up my money at this point. So that's why you gotta build another construction office and I'm gonna do it way out here so we can develop this hilly region yeah. I'm gonna set it to priority so they will build it first so They're not filling up this apartment building. Tear down your shacks and move into the apartment, folks. To help them, let's lower the rent to $2 a month. Make it cheap. You don't need shacks, guys. You have an apartment. Although I assume many of them would prefer to live in shacks. Maybe, Maybe they like the freedom, they want to live out in the jungle. Beautifying things a little bit here. Put a little stone uh, wall on the edge of the city here, on the edge of the street. of Tropico grows quickly. We now have over 100 citizens. Okay. They're not going to build that right away. They usually build the uh, more beautiful things after they finish building all this, the actual structures. Now we have two construction offices, so we got two teams who are going to be building. Putting up the lumber camp. People are moving into the apartment complexes. And... two more apartment complexes, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright, we're gonna have a massive apartment block on this corner, because I really just want them to tear down the shacks. Tear down those eyesores and move into the apartments, guys. Uh, probably the next thing we're gonna look towards doing is a high school, so we can get high school educated people to work some of the more skilled jobs. And, um... The smart thing to do would be to build that right next to the housing complex. Move it out one so I can add some trees and beautify it. Alright, go at it guys. As you can see, I almost have 20,000 Tropican dollars. Uh, I just can't build things fast enough now on easy, on easy difficulty. Somebody tore down their shack and moved into an apartment, that's nice. Uh, 
Uh, they're complaining that there's a lack of churches. We'll get to it. Shop to increase the productivity of the logging camp. The horticulture station might be nice, although it means that they'll build a bunch of trees around all of these buildings. They'll grow a bunch of trees over here in the school, and eh, wouldn't be so bad. It'll be beautiful. Let's do it. People are complaining about a lack of clinic, a lack of church. I need to build a clinic and a church. And again, a good place to build that is gonna be right across the street from the housing district. What's going on here? I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next year. So we're going to have an election. Um, the first one's usually pretty easy to win. My population is uneducated at this point. They don't have very good education, so I'll likely be up against someone who doesn't even have a high school diploma. As you get later in the game, you'll go up against people with college diplomas, and it will be more difficult. Uh... Yes, lack of high school. We're building it. The people Thank you. are quite lawless, my president. Perhaps if you hire some police, things will improve. They want us to build a police station. Okay. Build a clinic here. And the church is a rather magnificent building. We could put this here next to the Capitol. This is my palace, actually, by the way. We put the church right about here. Okay. This would be like your Mexican Zocalo. You've got the government office on one side and the church, the Iglesia, on the other. Building the high school and building the clinic. People are taking new jobs. High school is complete. Uh, we need a high school educated worker in order to train people in the high school to give them high school diplomas. Um, we can't order one from overseas. I think it's about $700. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? $500 to order a high school educated worker. Eventually my own workers will move in. I, I'm sure I have some that are high school educated. Um, Lists, education, okay, I only have two workers who have high school education, but I have three who have a college education, so conceivably the farmer would do good, one of these farmers could go work in the high school and start training people. And we're ready for the election, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, uh, if the election were held today, I would get 60 of 76 votes, so now you can choose if you want to have the election or if you want to become a dictator, which will make people unhappy. Let's keep them happy, let's have the election, I'm going to win in a landslide. Here's the person I will be going up against, Paulina Noriega, okay, she's a farmer, uh, age 37. Her housing is inadequate. She's a member of the religious faction. Yes, 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 go away. Um, education, she has no education. So naturally, nobody is going to vote for her. All right, more art buildings. Ay caramba, there's really no need for anyone to be living in shacks at this point. And yet they are still living in shacks. Okay, and now we have the clinic. We're gonna have to order a college-educated worker, which will be eighteen hundred Tropican dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So we got two workers, two educated workers coming by boat. Ah, and we have the church is already finished. We need a high school-educated worker for that. Um. We 
we can also start thinking about entertainment. I want to build some bars, some restaurants. But before I do that, let's hash out the grid here. Yeah, just like that. There we go. restaurant here. Yeah, that looks like it will fit in there kind of nicely. We can put a bar. Mm. Maybe here. Uh, some smaller houses. Tear down these stupid shacks. Put some real housing in. Uh, the election will be held next month and I'll get 75% of the vote. That's fine. Sounds good. Ooh, we got two doctors now. People are getting their health care taken care of. Oh no, my road system is screwed. I want to clear that. That's bad. Fix that. Yes, I won 60 votes. Thank you. No! No, no, no! How do I cancel that? Ah, shoot. Oh, okay, I cancelled it. Thank God. <laughs> um. some time beautifying a little bit here. Yes, thank you. Micromanaging work here is actually going to improve the beauty of this region of our republic, and it will make it more attractive both to the population and to tourists. So, just so you know, it's not a complete waste of time, and I think it looks good. So I got this military guy walking around here, in case you're wondering, he's a palace guard. These are my guards. They're high school educated. They have to be to take the job. Something special on this corner here. Some sort of 
very large, nice tree. I don't know. This one? Yeah, that's good enough. Export problem. I think they ran out of things to build. I'm not hearing any. Oh no, they've got more to build. More housing to build. Uh, I'll keep beautifying for another minute here. This is really the most I've ever done uh, with. Building uh, all this beauty crap, but looking pretty good. Got our palace there. Let's take a look around. No one wants to be a priest. We can increase the wages. Maybe that'll attract some people. Uh, we got three kids in school. Two doctors. Tobacco farms. job of providing housing. See, this is the one I'm talking about with the balance in this game. I swear there's almost no way that you could do a good job of building housing. I have invested everything in housing at this point. Housing everywhere. We got four apartment blocks, and they're still living in shacks. They choose to live in shacks. I don't know what more I can... I mean, do you want to lower the rent? I've got so much money, I'll lower it to one. Okay, rent is now one dollar a month, guys. And they're still gonna choose to live in shacks. I guarantee it. There's only so much you can do. Shabby. Tobacco's coming on the line. We got some sugar. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Built a road in the middle of nowhere. And we got a pub, a cantina. Let's lower the price. Make people happy. 
why isn't anyone taking this job as priest? That's annoying. Probably the next thing we want to build is a university. So we can get college educated people. We need college educated people to run the clinics, the hospitals, um, the banks, the power plants. Most importantly, the power plants. And... I want to hash out the grid a little better to do that. Probably... Here is good. I like how I've got these shacks in the backyard of my palace here, that's great. Lovely, guys. I should get the military in there to bulldoze them. Shack right by the church, very nice. Lovely. Yeah. It's just like, um... Some stuff's getting built by mistake. There we go. Okay. Here is the college. It's a big one. There it is. Again, with the balance on this game, there's three high school teachers and no children getting their high school diploma. Kind of silly. What can you do? Place. This is going to help people get food. Normally they get the foods directly from the farms, but if you build a marketplace, they have an option to go there. And, I don't know, it makes it easier, I guess. So, put it by all this housing here would be good. That would be the smart thing to do. Looks kind of ugly there, though. It looks so out of place. There, there. Mm, that might be okay. Yeah, put it in this back alley here, in this little suburban subdivision. Wage is going up, happiness going up slightly, after going down for many years. I mean, I could do more things to make them happy, it's just it doesn't matter now. I'm gonna hold off on those things. And they want us to diversify the economy, because we're too dependent on resources and agriculture. That's not a problem yet. We're still early in the game. Um, let's take a look at what we can mine. Bauxite. Aluminium. Um, we can build one of those, maybe here. Gold. Ooh la la. No gold mine up here. So I need to start thinking about where I'm going to put my ugly stuff, like the power plants. Probably around here. This is going to be our little ugly district with maybe power plants and factories. I'm looking at the output store on these farms to see if the Teamsters are getting around to unloading the product. The Teamsters are the guys, I guess, that move it around. I'm not like 100% sure, but again, this is another problem with the balance in the game. The Teamsters have to move the surplus goods out of the buildings and send them, I guess, to the ports or the factories, like you can see they're doing here, I think. Is that what they're doing? Oh, the farmers do it. So what do the Teamsters do? Is it it's just graft? It's just a scam? I don't know what the... Okay, here comes a teamster, and he's loaded up with something. Yeah, he's bringing stuff to the dock, but I don't know what it is. Oh, it's wood. I think it's lumber. He was carrying lumber. 
So the farmers do it and the teamsters can do it too. You need the teamsters, I guess they help move stuff around. Or something. Whatever. Ah, and there are no children in school. But we do have a priest! Hooray! So now people can get their religion on. Ah, export prices have increased for sugar and rum. Now we are set up with some sugar. Um, how much I'm not exactly sure. There's one sugar farm. I think we could build another, frankly. Probably about here? Here? There. Uh, here are the factories you can build. Um, the lumber mill will take the wood. Yeah, let's build a lumber mill. Takes the wood and builds lumber. Obviously. Um, just to be on top of this, I want to plan out where to put my power plants. You have been in office for ten years now, Presidente. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Power plants can go here. They should be good there, right next to the lumber mill. We're also gonna want a rum distillery, which... Ooh, it's big. So big. So this is going to make rum out of sugar. Where can I hit it? So big. Alright, we'll put it there. The problem with these two is they both require high school educated workers, which I don't have a lot of, so let's put them on low priority. We build everything else first. We got two students in high school and two teachers in the high school. Wow, they must be getting a lot of attention. If you guys want a good job that pays a little more, you should go work as a priest. They tore down the shack. See, people are moving into the housing. That's awesome. They're tearing down their shacks and getting real houses. They're also building new shacks out here, though. On the edge of the city, which is usually what happens. And you can see the output is up to 23. I've seen it go as high as 50 there. Which means the Teamsters aren't doing their job. I swear they're a bunch of shitless freeloaders. It's all a bunch of graft. They just take their pay and do nothing. They spend most of their time walking back and forth. Alright, here two of them are coming. With wheelbarrows. Got our marketplace ready, but no one is working there. Maybe we need a high school educated worker. You can make $11 a month if you take that job, guys. And still, we got too many teachers. Farm here. 
So it shows that the dark green is a good region for growing this particular crop being sugar, but that varies depending on the weather, depending on the rainfall. So while it could be a good place this year, it might not be next year, but usually it's pretty consistent. So between these three, we should have a pocket of rain that's ideal, that is conducive for growing sugar. So you can see here, this place it grows corn, uh, but this year it's not really a good place for growing corn. There's a little strip here where the rain didn't fall enough for corn. That's fine. Okay. Nobody's using the pub, and nobody's using the restaurant. But we do have a worker in the marketplace selling food. Very nice. Presidente, I believe some of your people may be calling for an election next year. university done, we'll be ready for a power plant, which will drastically expand all of the things that we can do. We'll be able to build luxury housing, luxury hotels, uh, a lot of upgrades for our factories, we can build radio. There it is. That'll be our first power plant. Radio, television, all that. Everything that comes with electricity. Hard to believe that we don't actually have electricity now. I mean, it looks like most of these buildings must have electricity. There's an antenna on top of this one. Surely there's a generator. Ugh, I'm gonna cut the salary of these stupid teachers because no one's going to school. They would be better off as priests. Okay, we got an election. Yeah, let's do it. Who am I up against? Someone slightly more educated, it appears. No, no education. Oh, it's the same woman, Paulina Noriega. What's she doing now? She's still a farmer. Eh, not worried about it. All right, we got our university, and we got a university professor. Someone in our republic already had a college degree and took the job. Twenty dollars a month. Twice as much as someone with a high school diploma, four times as much as someone with no education. Good job, hopefully we get some students getting college educations very soon. And then we can work on the power plants. We're gonna want to use gas. Gas is cleaner. is happening soon. We're way ahead, but still it's a little bit close. So home court advantage. We give everyone a tax cut right before the election. Be and then we issue a Mardi Gras edict. So they have a big party. And now everyone's a lot happier. And you can see my support increase dramatically. 
You could do other things like increase their uh, wages. The but... people are quite lawless, my president. All oh, right, when you get police you station. Hire some police, things will improve. I was saying you could do other things like increase their salaries, um, but we don't need to do that yet. And it's better not to do that if you don't need to, because it will have a diminished effect over time. So wait until you absolutely have to do that. If the election were held this month, we'd get 75% of the vote. I'm confident in our chances. Let's continue. And we need to build the police station. So bright red is where... Yes, I won. Bright red is where crime is very bad. Mm. Here. Only we build it up here. Even in the middle. It looks kind of weird in the middle of those farms, though. Uh, we can <laughs> rotate it. set to one. I don't know why it's not doing it there. You hold down shift to set it for all buildings. There we go. Ah, too many teachers. Not enough priests. No one's getting college education. I hate to do it, and this isn't going to make them very happy, but let's cut their wage to try to, you know, push them out. Go take a different job, guys. Go be a priest. We need priests. And let's increase the salary of the priests. good fishing on this area. We got our police station, but we need people with high school education. They're all working as teachers, teaching almost no one. game, there is one thing I'd like to build that is cheap and easy, and that is uh, the childhood home of El Presidente. It's a little propaganda thing. Um, you basically build a house and claim that this is where the president lived, and then people go there, they pay money to go, and they get indoctrinated into pro-president cult propaganda. So... It's a cheap and easy way to build respect for your president leader. Maybe put it by the police station here? Yeah, let's do it.
Still only one breeze. Still four high school teachers doing nothing all day. And no police. I to increase their wages. Try to get them to do what I want them to do. I mean, you really could play with the wages more and really jack them up or cut them down, but... Uh, I don't like to push them too much with the wages. Like I said, there's a diminished return. There will come a point where I'm in a re-election campaign up against someone with a college education and it's going to be a fight for my political career, that's the point where you want to increase their salaries, at least temporarily. And you could jack them up all the way to $40 a month if you wanted to. And then cut them right back down again when the election's over. Yes, the economy has shrunk. Okay. 